In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make uh, this uh, pendant, which then translates into the earrings as well. And it's using the beautiful um, natural potato pearls that are in the kit. And we've also got uh, multicolored um, Aurelite, which is absolutely gorgeous. And they're a two mil faceted uh, gemstone and they're beautiful. Um, and we've got a 0.6 sterling silver wire um, and that's what you're going to need to make this pendant and earring set. OK, so um, let's get going. The tools you'll need to make um, the pendant and earrings are um, wire cutters, flat nose pliers, a round nose plier or in this case I used bow making pliers. You're also going to need a round mandrel. Um, of the size of your choice. I'm using my ring mandrel because it gives me the right shape but also gives me a variation of sizes. Um, so that, that's what I used. Okay, so let's move these out of the way and, and we'll start. And to start, we're going to bring in the uh, 0.6 wire. So we're going to start at the end of the wire and we're first going to create, <coughs> excuse me, the um, the actual shape of the pendants. So I'm going to use the ring mandrel. So I'm going to just leave a little bit of a tail here and move around the ring mandrel and bring it across. So we're crossing over, not too much because we don't want this to be a, a circle. We want it more to be this sort of drop, drop shape. Okay. So that's our initial shape of the pendant. So what we need to do now is um, work out the length of the um, the length of the wire that we're going to need. Okay, so this little tail over this side actually could do with being a little bit longer, just so we've got enough to wrap around. So I'm just going to make that a little bit longer, like so. So now this little tail here is going to be what we wrap around the bale section to secure everything in place. This longer tail here is going to be, um, if you're making earrings and you're going to do a closed loop, you'll just need uh, a centimetre or so just to create the loop. If you're going to use it for the pendant, then what I did, I created a double loop. So we're going to leave this a little bit longer and I'm going to show you how to do that. So we just leave a little of a longer tail just there. Okay. So now we've got our initial shape of the pendant. So we've got our drop shape. This section is going to be the bail and this is going to be the wire to secure it. So what we need to do then is thread on our beautiful um, two mil faceted gemstones. And as you can see, the two mil goes onto the 0.6 really easily with no issues at all. So all you need to do is thread on as many um, as you need um, for the size of the pendant that you're going to make. Okay. So here's one that I've already done. So as you can see, we've still got our shape and I've got our, our gemstones on there. And that's so beautiful. Right, so now what we're going to do, we're going to start by shaping up the wire. So we, we need to make sure that all the gemstones are sitting nicely and there are no gaps around. If there are gaps at this stage, once the pendant's finished and the gemstones settle down, you'll have a gap at the top. So I'm happy there are no gaps there. I'm going to take my flat nose pliers. I'll just move this out of the way so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to pop them in. This is the longer section. And I'm going to angle that up. Okay. So we've got that wire going straight up there. And that's going to be the bail. Okay. So I'm going to turn that over. Again, make sure there are no gaps. I'm happy there are no gaps there. And then with this wire, I'm going to pop in my pliers again I'll try and do it from this angle so you can see so I'm going to pop in my pliers there just above that gemstone and we're going to angle that across so the first wire is going straight up for the bale second wire is coming across across that um, first wire okay again make sure all the gemstones are in place and we're going to hold everything just there at that point so I'm going to hold everything quite securely there so those two gemstones are sitting next to each other okay I'm going to hold that quite tight I'm going to take my pliers and I'm going to wrap that around so that's the start of that wrap 
okay and then I'm going to take them again and wrap them around now you can wrap them um, as many times as you want really but I'm happy with three wraps and then at this stage you can give that little squeeze just make sure you don't catch the gemstones so we've got that there so then you just decide which is, is the front and the back of your pendant I'm happy that's going to be the front of the pendant so I'm going to turn that over I'm going to use my cutters and I'm going to cut off this little little tail there okay so then once we've done that I'm going to take my pliers and I'm just going to nibble that round so that's the flat there so that is the basic shape of our pendant okay so now as I said before I'll show you the earrings for the earrings I did just a closed loop you see that's just folded over but for the earrings that's fine because it doesn't take any weight okay for the pendant you see there's a double wrap there and and that's quite nice because I put this necklace on I put the pearls uh, and the aurelite onto beading thread so I wanted that to be as secure as possible so I'll show you how I did that I'll pop that back down Right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take my bail making pliers. Now this section is, is actually quite long, so I'm just going to cut that down a little bit. Okay, and then we're going to pop in our pliers, at um, depending on which size that you want. Pop them in so that the, the wire is right on the tip of the um, pliers just there. Okay, so we're going to roll that around, and as we roll it, We've got that little loop there, that little P-shape, but we're going to continue rolling and we're going to go past, past that wire, okay? So we continue rolling down, rolling down, rolling down, and then turn that over. And you see you've got that nice double loop there, and that means that it doesn't, it's not open there. It's almost like a split ring, but that means it's going to be more secure when it's on the on your strand okay so now what we need to do is add in our detail of the pearl and uh, gemstones across the center okay so to do that we're going to take our 0.6 wire again now i've threaded on um two faster gemstones a pearl and two faster gemstones and i've made just a little bend in the wire there with about a centimeter um on the end okay so what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same on the other side. So I'm just going to pop my pliers in. I'm just going to make that little bend so that the gemstones don't move around. And then I'm going to cut off um, a little bit of the wire just there. And that's all we're going to need really to, to secure it. Okay. Bring back your pendant. Now what we need to do is, is count. So one, two, three, four and five. So I'm going to go uh, and sit that across five gemstones down so we want that on both sides okay so that's one two three five so that's just about about there okay so we're going to hold that in place use my pliers and wrap that around okay so then turn it over and you can see so what we need to do is we need to just use our pliers to wrap that round always making sure we're just touching the wire and not the gemstones and again on the other side so we count one two three four five we're going to sit just there hold everything in place wrap it around and in this case it's a little bit longer so i'll need to cut off a little bit of that and again only catching the only touching the wire not the gemstones bring that around and that is your beautiful pendant and then you've got a nice size bale there to um, to add to whatever you want to you can make smaller versions of it for the earrings and you get a beautiful matching set I um, hope you enjoy the tutorial and I look forward to seeing you soon take care